Hi everybody, it's your girl Chanel with Girl Talk Tarot. Welcome to my channel. More importantly, welcome to your reading. So this pick a card reading has to do with whether or not you should make this move. And I do want to send a special shout out to Lindsay X, a current fan member. She did request this video. So thank you very much for requesting this video. So you guys, should you make this move? Yes or no? And then we're going to see why you should or why you shouldn't. So we have four groups. We have group one on the far left with the goddess of the moon, group two here with the action, group three, the thinking woman, and group four, the all tied up energy. So go ahead and select a pile that's calling out to you, something that's resonating with you, and just kind of grabbing your attention. I'll go ahead and be quiet so that you can select your group in peace. All right, you guys, I hope it was enough time. If not, you can pause the video and take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Hi, group one. Welcome to your reading. This is for all of you who chose the goddess of the moon card. We're going to see whether or not you should make this move. Okay, so please keep in mind this is general. You guys, not everything I say will resonate with you. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. Use your own intuition and discernment. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, should you make this move? Yes or no? All right, that feels like a no to me, okay? That feels like a no. You shouldn't make this move. Let's see why not. We're gonna see what you would um, experience if you did make this move here. I'll show you the cards in just a second. Okay, this will be some guidance for you. So coming through for you, group one, you have a lot of uh, deceit coming through here. A lot of um, unknown, okay? A lot of un unknown energy here. So it feels like the reason why you shouldn't make this move is because there would be a lot that's hidden from you. You even have the high priestess coming through here who's saying you won't really have um, all of the correct information there, there there's a big big uh, the light is dim okay the light is very very dim and it just looks like you could be either getting lied to getting scammed or it's just something's just not right about it and a lot of you guys you already have an intuitive gut feeling that something wouldn't be right about the situation some of you guys the there's someone else involved in this decision making and this person might be um uh, either agreeing with you or disagreeing with you, but there is a battle. There's a conflict here where you're not really seeing eye to eye. It feels like a lot of you guys aren't seeing eye to eye with someone specifically and others of you. It just is there's a really, really large internal conflict that you have about it because your intuition is telling you, no, it's not a good idea to make this move. Um, if you were to make this move, you would, in fact, experience a lot of conflict, a lot of strife, a huge uphill battle that just continues continues um there's no end in sight it feels like um the truth is actually hidden from you so i really feel like you could quite literally be getting lied to scammed taken advantage of or there's just some details or fine print that you wouldn't really um i don't know have access to it just looks like it's not a good situation for some of you this move could represent like you might be really fighting with somebody significant in your life um you know if you're thinking about moving in with somebody it could possibly just not be the right time there could be you know a lot of conflict if you move um either with this person or moving in with someone um whoever this is you know it doesn't have to be a romantic interest but this could be a, a mother or father a sibling or friend um it just looks like um you would have a very difficult time here so that's a that's a no for you group one and um if your intuition has already been telling you no this is probably not the right idea then just please listen to that let's get your guidance okay so archangel Joel wants you to know that you just need to have patience about this move specifically just be patient there's no need to rush take things slowly take your time and allow things to kind of play out uh naturally you know in its own divine time here <laughs> 
I'm just looking at the flame here. It's you probably can't see what it's doing, but it's agreeing with me. Yes, absolutely. Take your time with it. You don't need to make the move. Definitely not right now. And just be very, very patient um, with yourself, with your partner here and just the whole situation. So I hope that that makes sense for you. Beautiful group one. And um, yeah, thanks for rocking with me. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, sending you guys my love. Be blessed. Ciao. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. So this is for all of you who chose the action card here. And you're just wondering whether or not you should make this move. Should you move? Should you make this move? Yes or no? Um, why or why not? So let's go ahead and take a look into that for you. Should you make the move? Okay, this feels like a yes to me. This feels like a yes. It's safe for you to make this move. Let's see why you should make this move. Um, a lot of you guys have been where you are for too long. It's an unhealthy attachment where you are. It looks like uh, this move would bring you a lot of um, success, um, more structure, more money. I'm going to show you the cards in just a second here. Just let me put them down here. And we have some guidance for you for later. Okay, so yeah, the reason why you should make this move, you guys, some of you guys have been attached to either this person, this place, this circumstance, this building, this city, state, or country for too long. And this particular place, wherever you are now, may be holding you back, you know, from really exploring the world and really exploring yourself and really being able to um, achieve some of the things that you've been wanting to achieve. So it does feel like it's time for you to make this move. It looks like if you make this move, you're going to feel really 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 powerful you're going to feel really in control you're going to make a lot of connections with people you're going to have access to a lot of resources here specifically as it pertains to uh, money career and finances so for those of you who have in fact been struggling financially making this move some of you guys will actually get a job a much better job a good paying job the nine of pentacles shows that you'll be coming into a place of financial security and independence and just feeling wealthy feeling abundant feeling like you have plenty so there's a, a really good um opportunity for you to even just um gain more independence for those of you who have been you know in a codependent type of situation um depending on your your spouse or your your parents or your roommate whoever whatever this is an opportunity for you to get that that independence and a better financial situation here. I'm also seeing you will experience a lot of happiness, group two, okay? I just see you being very happy. It feels like, yes, finally, this is me. This is my time. You know, this is the number eight. So I do see that this type of move would require a lot of strength and courage. But um, my goodness, if you have the strength and courage to do it, go for it. You're like, you're definitely more in control here if you make this move. It's like you're taking back your power and you're feeling very powerful and in control. And you're also making a lot of moves here. Your your things kind of just open up here for you to take more action and things just feel like they kind of fall in place a little bit better for you. And I'm also just seeing here that you know some of you guys you're really stressing out where you are okay you're really just not happy there could be somebody here who's making things difficult for you and some of you guys you're just not able to get a good night's sleep or rest where you are and there's just a lot of fears and anxieties that you may have about this move um some of you guys feel as though you may be losing something or someone okay maybe moving makes you feel like you're going to miss someone or you're going to miss out on something or you're going to just feel sad and yeah a part of you will because you're leaving behind something that you've been so comfortable with you've been so attached to so yeah there is a part of you that could feel a little bit you know a little bit worried about that a little bit down about that but you know the star is here saying it's a good move for you group two you know, the star is going to bring you a lot of blessings, a lot of um, opportunities for you to just express yourself authentically and for you to kind of find your way. I feel like you're going to be feeling much more comfortable where you're going. If you make this move, it feels very healthy and it feels very promising for you. It's like you get your big wish, whatever it is that you've been wanting, you get that. 
So this is a definite yes for you, group two. You should make this move. Um, your guidance is from Archangel Ariel, who's encouraging you to just be courageous. Be bold, group two. Stand up for your beliefs. Stand up for what you want. Yes, make this move. The angels have your back. You're not alone. And just do what you need to do for yourself, for your family. And just, you know, make it happen. Because you're the captain and you can make it happen for yourself. So yes, yes, yes. This is a good idea beautiful opportunities for you make the move that's what i see here for you guys okay if you have any questions about this just hit me up in the comments and just know i love you i'm sending you my love and i wish you all the best as you as you make the move as you take this action you got this okay talk to you later ciao hi group three welcome to your reading this is for all of you who chose the thinking woman, okay? So a lot of you guys might actually be overthinking this move. Some of you are spending a lot, a lot of time in your head about this particular move, wondering whether or not you should do it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Please keep in mind this is general, okay? Not everything I say will resonate specifically with you and your situation. So just use your own intuition and discernment. So my beautiful group three, should you make this move? Should you make this move? Yes or no? Ooh, that is a yes, group three. That is a yes. So let's see why you should make this move, okay? Why should my group three make this move here? That's the guidance for you that we'll take a look at a little bit later. Ooh, hoo -hoo, victory is yours if you make this move, group three. Success, victory, happiness. I'll just go ahead and pull these cards here and then we'll talk about it. I see your heart is full. You're just so happy. Things seem to kind of fall in place here. Oh, wow. This is amazing, group three. Yes, it's definitely time for you to make this move. Some of you guys have been going back and forth in your headspace about this move for a long time. Okay. So one of the main things I'm seeing here, why should you make this move? because you will be successful so for some of you guys you're going to um, get some type of a job offer or a career move that just really puts you in the limelight you're feeling very successful there's a lot of support around you a lot more support than what you already have and you're just achieving your dreams and your goals your aspirations you're on top you're winning if you make this move here i'm also just seeing that you're so happy okay your heart is full so you're very very happy with this move you're happy with where you are as you make this move the people in your life you're meeting a lot of people here you have family friends and guides so you're not alone if you make this move here you're going to have some of you are going to have family members where you're going friends and people that you meet who can guide you along your journey so there's no, you know, just being by yourself. You're going to have people there to support you with this move. Um, I'm also just seeing that there's a very healthy integration that you have. You kind of just feel at home with this move. It feels like everything is copacetic. Everything is peaceful, cool, calm, collected, everything. You know, this is 22, which reduces to four. So there's also a sense of security here that you feel and experience as you make this move here this could be a new home or a new um a new job opportunity that brings you that that security that foundation for yourself so yeah that looks really good here spirit says you deserve this opportunity to move for yourself like you deserve everything that's coming towards you as you make this move you know everything that you desire at this particular time you're going you're going to feel excuse me like like you're getting that you know and and that you deserve it because you do so you're feeling good even financially you're making better money four of coins showed up which tells me that you are going to be you know working with your savings and things of that nature it could cost a pretty penny to make this move here but you have what it takes to do it you have enough to make this move and not only that you're going to be good financially when you make this move you know there's going to be enough money to pay the bills to do everything that needs to be done um so it's good okay it's good i'm also just seeing um with the increase a lot of you guys will have or you will experience an increase in your financial matters here. You're, you're in, you know, for some of you guys, this particular place you're moving to, maybe 
the bills are higher, okay? Maybe and that's why you're worried about it because you feel like you're taking a little bit of a loss because you're not, um, you know, because more of your money has to be, has to go towards this place. It might be more expensive, okay? But I still see with that four of coins that you you would still be able to, um, to pay. You have enough. And um, if you don't right now, you're going to get some type of a job that will give you the money to be able to, to do what you need to do. So that looks really, really good. Some of you guys are asking about a really, really foreign or international type of move, which could be very scary. But yes, you know, the, the Knight of Swords is here just saying, go for it. Do it. Why not? You know, stay focused, stay determined. Everything is open and clear for you because I see a lot of you guys have been going back and forth about this particular decision. One minute you're feeling like, yes, I'm ready to do it. And the next you're feeling like, no, maybe it's not such a good idea. Well, it is a good idea for you. It's a beautiful, great idea here for you. And I'm also seeing for some of you, if you make this move, you will still be able to travel back and forth to your family, your friends and things of that nature. So it's not like it's the last time you'd be able to see certain people or do certain things okay so that's the energy that's coming through here for you it's definitely a yes if you make this move you're happy you're good you're happy you're good you're happy you're good let's get the guidance here for you you guys okay archangel jeremiah is saying that the worst is now behind you group three you're surmounting any previous challenges, so it's time to soar. It's time to move because the worst is behind you. It's already done. Out with the old and in with the new. So you won't be experiencing as many challenges when you move. Excuse me, or when you make this move. You also have Archangel Camel coming through who's saying that he's going to help you with your soulmate relationship. So for some of you guys, there are matters of, um, you know, love, romance, uh, marriage, things of that nature here. So this particular move could be, you know, a really big decision that actually involves someone else here. You know, we have the King of Cups coming through here. So just know that it's still a good move and that your angels are supporting you with your relationship and everything with your relationship will still be okay. And Archangel Haniel is saying, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So some of you are making this move to follow your dreams, to follow your passions, you know, to do what it is that your heart is desiring to do. And yes, this is your time, group three. This is your time to shine. This is your time to follow your heart's truest desires and passions. Yes, in love and in your career. So just know you're not alone. You're being backed up, supported, and guided by your spirit guides and family. So that's a big yes for you, group three. I hope that that makes sense for you. I'm sending you my love, and I'm wishing you all the best as you make this move in your life. I'll talk to you later. Be blessed. Ciao. Hi, group four. Welcome to your reading. So this is for all of you who chose the all tied up card. Okay, so some of you guys are really, really, really stressing out about this particular decision, whether or not to make this move. Let's go ahead and see what the answer is for you. Please keep in mind, you guys, this is a very, very general reading, so this message won't be for everybody. And um, I do ask that you use your own discernment and intuition. Group four, should you make this move? Yes or no? All right. That does feel like a no to me, group four. That does feel like a no. So some of you guys have really been going back and forth in your headspace about it because your intuition is actually telling you, you know, it's probably not the best idea to make this move, at least at this time. Let's see. We have some guidance for you that will get to you at the end of the reading. But let's see why you shouldn't make this move here. Okay. So, okay, I'm just going to pull some cards, you guys, and then we'll we'll talk about it. I'll show you the cards and everything. So let's just pull first. Why shouldn't group four make this move? All right, it's just not time to go, group four. Some of you guys, you have one foot in and one foot out. Okay, so some of you guys are dealing with a situation here where you're just feeling a little bit, 
stuck or confined some of you guys are feeling like there's not enough space where you are at this particular time you're just ready to go you're not really happy with where you are and you're you're incredibly ready for the next adventure in your life which is okay but i'm also just saying that if you leave um if you make this move and you and you go it, it, it feels as though this would be something that you would regret, okay? It feels like you would regret this decision. I see that there would be a lot of stress about this decision, and there's just, why did I do that? Why did I do that? You know, because I feel like if you were to stay where you are, um, for some of you who are dealing with somebody here romantically, I do feel as though this relationship or connection will strengthen and, 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 and things will open up here for you. I'm also just seeing that there's a lot, there's a lot more to explore. There's a lot more fun and happiness where you currently are so you guys in this group you may just be feeling a little bit worn out or tired of where you are and you're ready for a change but i do feel as though you're going to experience this change right where you are um so so it really looks like it would just you know stay where you are it does require a lot of strength and courage to do that you know, it really, really does. But you have the strength, you have the courage, you have it deep within you. And a lot of you guys are just a little bit worried here. You're, you're like, I'm ready for what's next. You know, you're ready to make plans and strategize for your future. And some of you guys just feel like where you are is holding you back a little bit. But um, don't don't allow that thought to to take over in your headspace. Know that you can still make any changes that you seek where you are right now you know it may require more effort it may require more planning more out of the box thinking and things of that nature but i really feel like um there's so much more to experience where you are you know there just is so much more so that that's a no just just stay put guys stay put it's okay things will get better here for you um let's get your guidance here what guidance do you have oh okay so some of you guys are being sent a hello from heaven so for those of you who have in fact actually you know lost someone my sincerest condolences uh just know that this person is coming through here to say hi i love you i miss you i'm fine please don't worry about me you can feel me you can feel my spirit around you you know and whenever you think about me i'm there with you so that's for someone very specific in this group um, you also have the guidance from Archangel Raphael. Okay, so Archangel Raphael is encouraging you to breathe, group four. Just breathe, relax. Take several deep breaths. Exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So some of you in this group have the pattern of negative thinking and uh, severe anxiety, actually. So some of you guys might be having panic attacks. Like, what do I, I need to do something. You feel like you need to do something right now, but you, you really don't need to do anything right now. You kind of just need to relax, stay put, and just trust in the process and know that there are better times ahead for you right where you are. So I really hope that that makes sense for you, my beautiful group four. Um, if it doesn't or if you have questions, just let me know in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'm rooting for you guys. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you in a different video. Be blessed. Ciao.